hello guys welcome to my channel today we will be discussing about the implementation of toggle input in react native so uh, lately i came across a condition where i had to implement a toggle input in uh, one of my applications in react native so i thought the, to just use some package from npm so when i searched the npm I saw that there are not much repositories uh, available there for the toggle input and libraries which are already present they they are they are they are they have a lot of interdependencies which means uh, they are using other libraries to for one functionality or the other and when I use them uh, I saw that it unnecessarily just increased the size of my application and my application was a bit laggy after the usage of them so i thought that why not uh, just develop a package of my own and uh, just use it why just unnecessarily increase the size of application so i came up with this the toggle input so we will be seeing uh, the implementation of this uh, this is the end product that we will be developing this toggle input so without making any further delay we will just continue uh, the installation and the setup of this step by step so firstly let's clear out all this code let's delete and start from scratch So first things first, firstly let's see at the command how to install the package. For that you can just type npm install react native toggle input. You can also use yarn to just add the package to your project. For that, the command is yarn add react native toggle input. So, so let it install. package is installed now so now the next step is to just use the package in your product project for that the the thing is to import the package or that the command is import toggle from react native toggle input so after this order the import of this library uh, the next step is to make a state variable and the function of that state variable is to store the state of the uh, toggle button whether the button is on or the off for for that we will be creating a state variable so for that we will create a state variable namely toggle you can name it anything you want but for our purposes here we will just name it as toggle and set toggle will be the function which will be responsible for handling the change to store this or update this variable So the default state we will putting is false. So now the two mandatory fields that our toggle input takes are toggle and set toggle. 
as we have set already the toggle will be just setting the state of the variable the current state of the toggle input and the set toggle function will just uh, be used to just uh, change the status to on or off so the main parameters or the props that we will be passing here are toggle and set toggle so firstly we will pass the toggle and in this we will pass our toggle that we have already created and set toggle is another prop and in this prop we will pass our method to set this variable so once we will just save this and we will see the emulator we will be I think Metro Bundler has just stopped so we will be just starting Metro Bundler again so we will be reloading our application right here let it build so here we are presented with this toggle input in just two steps it's very easy to just uh, implement this toggle there are other props also which you can use to customize this toggle button and which will, which will make it even more interesting so for that thing we will make a copy of it so that it will be easy for you guys to just see the difference between them so so the other props that we can pass that we can pass here are for example you want to change the color color of the toggle in for that the prop is color and you can pass any hex code here or for now we will not pass any hex code here we will just write the color for example red so when we save that we can see that we are presented with another toggle button and its color is red but we can see that button click is just uh, changing the state of both uh, toggle inputs this is because we have used same uh, toggle variable for both of them toggle state variable and for if we want to make another toggle button and we want to just change its state we can just make another state variable like this and we have to pass it to the other one we'll pass it like this and set toggle to in this way we will be creating two separate toggle buttons and each will be having a state of its own toggle will just change the state of first toggle input and the toggle to will change the state of second toggle input okay so now the other prop that you will be requiring and most of people will be requiring will be the size of this toggle input you can also just change the size of this toggle input switch and you have to pass an integer over here for example we will pass 20 here so so when we will see that you will see that the size of this toggle input has decreased you can just change any size you want you can just change the size right here and you will get the uh, required size that you want so sometime you will come across a condition where you want you will be wa wanting to just to use a filled filled toggle input F for that the prop that you will be passing will be filled equal to true the default value of it is false so by default you will be getting a border toggle input and after that 
you will also have to set the circle curl prop wait let me show you first how it looks so that you will be getting an idea about the other prop so you can see that when the button is on it's fully red and there is no circle visible right here so to make the circle visible we have to set the circle color here's another prop circle color so so we will be setting it to white so that the circle is visible when the button is turned on so we'll save it and you can see that the now in the on state also the button is visible the circle is visible so this is why this circle color prop is required so now sometimes you will be requiring to trigger an action when the button is turned on and when the button is turned off there is also a prop for that for that condition you will set on true prop it will take a function it will take a callback function that you will be setting here for example for now we will set an alert that switch is turned on on so what will this function do when the button is turned on this callback function will be executed at the end of that for example this time it's off when we will turn it on you will get an alert like this because we have uh, used this alert as a callback function similarly we will use on false prop for to be executed at at the close of the button or when we turn off the button we can alert switched off so when we will see when we will close the button it will say switched off and when we will turn on the button it will say switch on so in this way you can use this toggle library uh, to cater your needs the needs of your application in any possible way you want it to be used uh, hope you guys like the video uh, just uh, if you have any questions or queries or you want any improvements or you want any uh, additional functionalities in this library you can just pin down in the comment section of this YouTube video and if you want any other YouTube video apart from this you can mention in the comment I will be really happy to help you uh, thanks for watching the video bye bye have a good day happy coding